Hey, Michael Kwan with Mega Tech News. We're here at the Waterfall Building in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia, uh, hanging out with our friends at Samsung. They've announced a brand new tablet line. They have the Tab S in 8.4 and Tab S 10.5. Let's have a closer look. So Samsung has been a market leader in the tablet arena for a long time now, and we've already been familiar with the Galaxy Tab, and then uh, earlier this year they had the Tab Pro, which was a Note Pro, and now they've expanded the line with something that they call the Galaxy Tab S. Now, it feels like they're almost rebooting the series by calling it Tab S without any kind of numbers after it, but well, what they explained to me was the S stands for Super AMOLED, the same way that when the Galaxy S smartphone first launched, uh, it was one of the first smartphones that had Super AMOLED technology. It comes in two different versions, so I have the 10.5 here, and there's also the 8.4, but the only difference between the two, aside from the screen size, is battery. All the other internals are the same, all the other specs are the same, so really the only difference you're getting is the difference in screen size and the appropriate increase in battery uh, size for the 10.5. So I'll focus on the larger one here. What you get is a 2560 by 1600 uh, pixel resolution Super AMOLED display. And what they've explained to me is the Super AMOLED really is the key differentiating factor with the Tab S compared to some of the other Samsung tablets in the past as well as tablets from competitors. So why would you need Super AMOLED on your tablet? Well, they explain it in three different ways. One of the first advantages is you get a far better color re re reproduction. So they're working with uh, the Adobe, with the Adobe RGB spectrum, you're getting a 94% accurate re reproduction, as opposed to the 74% that you get with a regular TFT OCD. So what it means is that you have a lot more colors and it, it plays in line with what we've already come to expect from Samsung's Super AMOLED technology on their smartphone. You're getting a 100,000 to one contrast ratio. Uh, compared to a thousand to one on a typical LCD display. So what it means is that your blacks appear blacker and your whites appear whiter, which is great, again, for the color reproduction. And the third main point that they wanted to point out is that with Super AMOLED te technology, when you have a, a black area of the screen, if I bring up another image, say, of this cat here, what you'll notice is that, you know, like half the screen is black. When you look at a normal tablet that's using LCD technology or something like that, the display is still completely backlit the whole the whole screen. So what it means is that's consuming battery and your black really isn't that black because it's still being backlit. With Super AMOLED, each individual pixel lights up on its own. So when you get a black area of the screen, what it means is that that part of the screen is actually effectively turned off. This is great for, again, creating as close to a true black as possible, but it also means that you can extend your battery life uh, a lot because it's not consuming power to bright, brighten up that part of the screen. What they're telling me is that on both the 10.5 inch version and the 8.4 inch version is that you can watch full HD 1080p video for 11 hours on a single charge. So that's enough for, you know, when we went to Computex, for example, and I'm on a 12 hour flight, that's enough time for me to be watching a movie clear through the flight and not have to worry about charging. So they've done a, a great job with get, giving us that great battery life in a package that is only 6.6 .6 millimeters thick. So it's a really thin tablet that gives you a lot of power in a really slim package. There's a lot of other great features that they pointed out. There's a two megapixel camera on the, on the front, as well as an eight megapixel camera on the back. And they're telling me that this is among some of the best uh, camera technology that we've seen in a tablet thus far. Usually you find that the better cameras are going into the smartphones instead of into the tablets. But what it means is that now you can use your tablet and actually take a, take a pretty decent picture. One thing that Samsung has really done is they partnered up with a different service providers to give you as much of a full experience as possible right out of the box. They already have the upgraded Dropbox and with Evernote, but now they've partnered up with some content providers. So for example, uh, here in Canada, uh, people can get access to Next Issue, which is uh, like a digital magazine subscription service, and you get, I believe it's two months of that for free. Uh, the Globe and Mail will be launching their Android version of the electronic newspaper in the next little while, and uh, when that happens, you'll get 12 months of the Globe and Mail. There's also a subscription service to Marvel Unlimited for all you uh, comic book fans out there. So they've worked to provide all these different, what they call Galaxy Gifts, and uh, these are all the different extras that you get effectively for free when you purchase the, the tablet. All said, you're getting close to about $1,500 in value, and they wanted to go across as much of a full spectrum as possible to give people 
uh, the things that they, they want to be able to get the most out of their tablet. So in terms of accessories, Samsung, uh, they wanted to make sure that all of the accessories keep with the slim profile because they worked so hard to make the tablet as thin as possible. What we have here is the full cover uh, for the 10.5 inch. It's also available for the, the smaller tablet as well. And that gives you full protection for both the back and the front of the, uh, the tablet. And yet, as you can see, it doesn't actually add that much thickness to the tablet itself. You also notice that it has these different notches and folds in them so that you can get three different orientations to 15 degrees if you're like typing or a little bit higher up if you wanted to watch a video on it. So that's the, the full cover. Here on the smaller 8.4 inch, they have uh, just the, the front cover if you wanted something a little bit simpler. All it does is protect the display, but it is, you know, like a smart cover. So what it does is it turns the tablet on and off uh, when you open and close it. You also notice that on the back of the tablet, there's a couple of these like little notches. And the idea there is that it attaches to the protective covers that way instead of using magnets. It's actually a physical like click. So it, it clicks into place so that it's extra sturdy. And it's the same way with the, the, the full cover as well. So that's like just the front cover. It doesn't really protect anything on the back, but it gives the, the screen a good protection. Uh, both the full cover and uh, the front cover, they come in a range of different colors. So you can see the gray one and the red one here, and they do come in a variety of colors. And then the third main accessory is the keyboard. And you'll notice that there is no physical connection here. It is uh, just a Bluetooth key keyboard. So it does uh, pair up wirelessly with your tablet and it has its own battery with its own on-off switch on the back here. The Samsung Galaxy Tab 3, again, is available in the 8.4 inch and in the 10.5 inch uh, sizes. They both come with 16 gigabytes of internal storage as well as a micro SD slot for 128 gigabytes more. The 8.4 inch will be selling in Canada for $419 and the 10.5 is at $519. And you can expect those to ship uh, at the end of the month. And that's a quick look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab S here in Vancouver. Stay tuned for more great news and the full review of this tablet on megatechnews.com soon. Thanks for watching.